While it's been a hot second since we've been able to travel, I wanted to give some love to this case which has brought me and my saxophones around the world and back. Now let's see what's inside. For those who are wondering, I'm indeed carrying my pair of Yamaha saxophones in a Selmer double case. Oops! Today, I'll be talking about the gear that I get the most questions about, but I'll leave my horn, reed, and mouthpiece information for anyone that was curious in the video description. Looks like we're about ready to go. But first, long tones. A common gear question I'm asked is, what's my neck strap setup? This is Woodstone's leather strap with metal snap hook, and I keep returning to this neck strap because I think it best balances high quality material, comfort, and versatility to fit around a variety of concert clothes. This spreader bar is called the Libero. Libero? Yikes. Um, help me out here. Uh, this was created by Andy Scott in the UK, and it adjusts to and clips onto most cord style neck straps very readily. By taking the weight off the side of my neck, I feel like I'm able to breathe a lot easier. And it also allows me to move much more effortlessly with the saxophone. While I've been able to work with and collaborate with a number of great saxophone technicians, someone that's seen this particular horn come across their bench maybe a little more often than they like is Brendan Lagan. He's performed a great number of customization work on this horn, but one thing I want to highlight is the Lagan Wrist Saber. By elevating and shifting the original position of the thumb hook, it allows me to play the instrument with a much more open and natural hand position, and this has been particularly helpful when revisiting this instrument after my bout with tendonitis. You don't need to play the saxophone for very long to realize that a sticky G-sharp or C-sharp key can ruin a performance. So while I use the entire lineup of Key Leaf's products, I wanted to talk about the key props for a second. The 15 seconds it takes to install the key props on your saxophone will save you time and money at the repair shop. By keeping your E-flat, C-sharp, and G-sharp keys open, ventilation will prevent key rot and sticky pads. I've been playing on Woodstone's Ishimori ligatures for the better part of a decade now, and what I love about these ligatures is the balance they strike between a quick response and a satisfying resistance that translates into a powerful and brilliant sound. I'll save a more detailed review about the different finishing options that are available with these ligatures, but in my trials, I've found the most important factor when deciding on what ligature is good for you is one that fits your mouthpiece appropriately so that it can support your reeds effectively. Here's a demonstration of a solid silver ligature that I used in a mouthpiece trial a couple months ago. are Will Peak's bell rings and Meridian Wind's center brace resonating weight. I can't think of a better combo to optimize the response of the low register and correcting the pitch tendencies of those notes. Over the last few years, the bell rings and the brace weights have come in a variety of shapes and sizes so you can truly customize your sound. Most recently, Will's been able to come up with a 3D printed version of his bell rings so that you can get a true custom fit for your saxophone and they come in a variety of colors. Most importantly, they come in black. Thanks so much for watching today's episode. If there's any gear or equipment that you have questions about or want me to review, leave them in the comments below. If you like what you saw, please like, subscribe, and share this content with anybody that you think would find it helpful. Tune in next week as we talk about ways to step up your articulation game.